channel and if you're new here, hi, how are ya? And welcome to the family. My name is Misty and I play Sims 4 Let's Plays on the channel. If that's your thing, go ahead and click subscribe and join us. We'd love to have you. Today we're going to be jumping into our Not So Berry Challenge. This is Generation 2, Episode 7. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So as you can see, we have Primrose here and she is just taking care of her little puppy, but it looks like Araminta has come around. So as we know, Primrose and Araminta have a pretty good relationship, clearly um, more, more of a relationship than her and Rowan do, that's for certain. So she's just telling Araminta like, hey Grady, guess what? You'll never guess what mom did. She went and she got me a puppy. And Araminta's like, oh honey, that's great news. Just don't forget that you always need to keep up with your science work. Puppies can be fun, but don't let it distract you from your task and your goals. She's like, I'm not Granny, I'm not, but I really am like just super excited about it. Like it's not gonna take away from what I'm doing, but like, I'm just really excited. So I'm just gonna go ahead and obviously have Rowan go ahead and take care of some chores here. And they're just visiting. And I know that doesn't seem like it's very fair, but as we know, Rowan is happiest when she's working and Araminta really is the one that's the closest with Primrose. So she's like, so tell me, what have you been working on? And she's like, oh, well, I built a rocket ship for school and it was super fun. And then you'll never believe, but I was working on my experimenting table and I made a health potion. Like, I didn't realize science could be so cool. Rowan's like, oh, great. Hi, mom. I see you guys are out here talking about your love of science. Yes, this one here just can't get enough of your passion. Don't be snarky about it. Having a love for education and science is a good thing. I remember when you were little and you used to play with the science table as well. Okay, mom, and look how that turned out for me. Yes, well, hopefully uh, Primrose will follow in our footsteps and not go down the <coughs> wrong, I mean, political path. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have Rowan, go inside and she's going to be like, okay, mom, that's fine. I'm just going to go put on some tea. You can go ahead and come in when you guys are done talking about your science stuff. So she is just going to go ahead and tell her all about her health potion and about how she's doing in school. And I think Araminta is really, really proud of the fact that, you know, Primrose is taking this science stuff so seriously and that she's doing so well. Oh, look, and she gave her... <laughs> she gave her the health potion that she made. So that's sweet. She's like, here, you try it. She's like, oh, Prim, that is the sweetest thing ever. You sure do know the way to a girl's heart. <laughs> Their relationship makes me so happy. So Rowan's like, tea's ready. And she's just going to go ahead and sit down and help herself. She's not even waiting, but... So as we know in the last episode, Rowan did leave Ryder at the altar, and we do need to go ahead and move on with that aspiration. So she needs another gold date, and she needs a couple more boyfriends or girlfriends. So she's just calling over someone that she has a little bit of romance with, and maybe we can get them to a boyfriend status so that we can meet another portion of that um, goal. Not to mention the fact it looks like most of the people that she does have romantic notions with are becoming elders. So I kind of need to get her moving along with this because otherwise everyone's going to die and I mean I guess she could do romantic stuff with ghosts but I just don't like that idea. So, so he is married but that doesn't seem to mind. Like she doesn't care about that. She's like I don't even really like you. I just want you to be my boyfriend and then we can break up <laughs> that's awful but like Rowan's just I think honestly she's just like I just don't want to be alone I don't really want anybody I just don't want to be alone and also like I think at some point she is going to need to kind of get out of this way of discarding people like she does because 
she's in the pol the political career and so as she climbs that ladder she's going to be more and more in the public eye and now she does have that little bit of stardom behind her and so the public's going to be watching her even more and then you throw in like the paparazzi and it's just like rowan like you really need to get your act together so she has exchanged phone numbers with him and he seems very keen so so far this is going just how rowan had planned so she's like, I'm just going to flirt with him and woo him and make him see that, you know, he just doesn't know what he's missing. Well, let's just have ourselves a little embrace. Oh, it's so nice for you to visit and come over and, oh, look what I got you. <laughs> he's like, thank you so much. I mean, their relationship is like really, really high as far as like the romance part. So I think that she's really got the boyfriend thing in the bag. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you say? Do you maybe want to be my boyfriend? And meanwhile, you've got Prim here, and she's just like, Bubbles, what is going on? Like, what is she like? And I think this shows also, like, her and Prim. Oh, Rowan. Prim and Rowan are just polar opposites. Like, it does... Like, you can see why they wouldn't be very close, because they're just... She is outgoing, and flirty and doesn't care who she obtains oh phoenix has come to visit so rowan's just gonna come out and be like hey phoenix so nice to see you please come in he's like so sis what have you been up to i see that you haven't changed much still have over random people all the time huh she's like phoenix don't be judgy And I think she's kind of sitting here like, um, I really think maybe we should just, maybe we should just be friends. He's like, oh, oh, okay, we can totally just be friends. That's fine. <clears throat> like, she's not missing a, any time here. Like, she's like already calling over the next person like, hey, you want to come over and hang out? And Prem's like... Hi, Uncle Phoenix. Look what I got. And he's like, oh, look at you, Prim. You got yourself a little a little tyke. She's like, um, she, her name is Bubbles. He's like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, she sure is a cute dog. And he's just kind of standing there awkwardly like, okay, there's this random dude that I literally just watched my sister break up with in front of me, and mom's here, and like, the how awkward could this be? Just like, okay, Phoenix, I'm really glad you stopped by. It's been a long time. How's Blaze doing? And Keegan? Like, they don't ever come over. But Phoenix has already lost attention. He's just like, that is the cutest dog I've ever seen. Mom, why did we never get a dog? And I think Aramint is probably thinking, oh, great. I'm not exactly sure why Airman is just standing on the porch, but that's fine. So everybody's just going to have a sit down. They're just going to have a little chat and socialize. And she is just very, very flirty. Like, maybe you should get out of the house. All right, so Alan has called her and he wants to go over to the bluffs with her. So we'll go ahead and tell him, okay. And like I said, maybe she should get out of the house and she totally is doing that. So good on you. Okay, so we have shown up to the bluffs and we're just gonna go ahead and have a little bit of a chat with Alan here and go ahead and see if we can get their relationship up to a high enough level so that they can become boyfriend, girlfriend. And it's okay, and he's gone. I think he just left her. He did. He brought her way out in the middle of nowhere and then just left her there. Real classy. Okay, well, I guess we'll um, try to call somebody else maybe and see if she can get someone else to maybe want to go hang out. I mean, honestly, Rowan, like, you've got to think that at some point your reputation is going to start to get around. Or not. 
Okay, so we're gonna go to the lounge. <laughs> Let's see if this one works out a little bit better. All right, so we've made it to the lounge and I'm just gonna go ahead and have her talk to her date here and see if he's going to. Uh, today is not the day. So she's talking to this other person. She's attempting an introduction with him, but doesn't seem like that went well. Her date, her second date of the day has left her high and dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send her home because clearly it's not a good day for dates for Rowan. Okay, so we have arrived back at the house and as you can see, everyone is exactly where we left them because she wasn't really gone that long. In that short time period, she did get stood up, not once, but twice. So, all in all, pretty unsuccessful. And Bubbles is like, let's go play. Aww. She's like, hi Prim, how's it going with the puppy? Prim's like, it's so great, Mom. Like, I just, I love her so much. Thank you again. Like, you never know how, how thankful I am for this little puppy. And Rowan's like, yep, you bet. Anything to make you happy, dear. Just as long as you make sure that you clean up after her. I will, Mom. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I'll go... So Rowan's like, okay, I know that I already asked you this once, but I'm going to ask again. I really do think that you and I should just be friends. All right, so Araminta is calling, and she is actually inviting Prim over to her house. So I do think we're probably going to go ahead and head over there. I think that would be really nice for Prim to go over to her granny's house, and then she can meet Blaze and Keegan, because she hasn't met any of her uncles yet, other than Phoenix. I've arrived here at... Araminta's house and as you can see there are some changes that have happened just because I have some CC that's missing out of the game but we're just going to overlook that. <laughs> so she's like hi Granny I made it I, I made it okay like I, I was safe on the trip over. She's like that's great dear why don't you go on in Keegan's just in there on the computer and I think Blaze might be having himself a little bit of chess time and you can go ahead and just go visit. She's like okay and if you get hungry, love, just go ahead and help yourself to the fridge. So, Brun's just going to go ahead and come in here, and she's going to get to know her uncles, because she hasn't, like I said, met them yet. I don't want her to get, like, a super high relationship with any of them other than Araminta, um, because part of the challenge rules for Gen 3 is that she can't have any close relationships um, outside of Araminta until Araminta has passed away. So, I do want her to at least know them, but she doesn't have to become like their best friend or whatever. So Keegan and her are just kind of going ahead and um, chatting here. And actually that doesn't make a lot of sense. He should be probably a teenager. So because, I mean, if she's already aged up to a child, he's definitely going to be a teen. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just real quickly age Keegan up here. Okay, so I have aged Keegan up to a teen. I didn't go in and give him a makeover, but I will at some point go and do that. But as of right now, I've just gone ahead and aged him up just so that he is the correct age because obviously he's going to age up at a different rate, but he's definitely not still a child. Like, he should have already been a teen by now. So they're just getting to know each other, the three of them, and she's just trying to say, like, you know, it's really nice to meet you. I'm sorry that, you know, mom hasn't brought me around to see you guys, but she really is busy. Like she's constantly working and they're like, oh, honey, we understand. We know how your mom is. So she is a little bit peckish. So I'm just going to go ahead and have her come in here and just grab herself a quick meal. Not anything crazy. I don't want them to be like, hey, that's inappropriate. Get out. <clears throat> because even though she's her granddaughter, I, as you all know, The Sims does that. So she's just going to go ahead and go into the kitchen, grab herself a quick meal, and that way she's not hungry any longer. And then she'll just spend some time getting to know her family members because, as we all know, um, Zachary passed away before she was able to really have a relationship with him. So I don't want that to happen with this, with the rest of the family. And it's like, you kids go ahead and just, you know, socialize and converse and, you know, you boys, be nice to Prim and treat her good. 
And I think Krim's kind of like, oh, Granny, don't you worry, I've got this. She's like, do you care if I go use the washroom? And Emmett is like, no, honey, you don't need to ask to do things in this house. Like, my home is your home. So I am just going to go ahead and have them become best friends because obviously, I mean, they can't get any closer than that, right? Oh, they're so precious together. She's like, I love that you've come over, Prim. I hope you know that my door is open. Anytime you want to come visit, if you're feeling lonely, you just bring yourself and your little puppy over here and you guys can come and visit at any time. Just please promise you're going to be safe. She's like, I will, but hey, it is getting late. I'm getting tired. I should probably go ahead and head home. She's like, okay, but please be careful on your bus ride home. So the boys are just like, okay, bye. It was nice meeting you. And, you know, please come by anytime. We love seeing you, Prim. So Prim's just going to go ahead and let herself out. She's going to catch the bus back to uh, Willow Creek. And then we will catch back with you guys when we get to the house. Okay, and we have made it back home. And as you can see, she is a very tired girl. So I'm just going to go ahead and let her go on in here and go to bed. Holy cow, Phoenix is still here. And so is he. What is going on? Okay, I think Rowan's going to need to go ahead and just tell them, like, you guys, I mean, it was great with you guys visiting all day, but, like, I really do think you need to go. Um, like, it's late. Prim's going to bed. I need to go to bed. I have work. Okay, so as you can see, it is the next morning, and Rowan is up first. I'm just going to have her go ahead and come in here and grab herself a bite to eat. There are some leftover pancakes because she is a little bit hungry this morning. And she's also sad. So she is losing, like I said, friends left and right. All of her romantic interests, um, well, not all of them, but majority of them are turning into elders and they're passing away. So some of her um, love interests are dying. <laughs> and... That's why she is really, really like on the grind to try to get them over to her house because, you know, I guess she figures, well, I already have an, a relationship established with them, so why not just make it official as opposed to having to go out and like go through all the hard work of meeting someone new. And I guess in theory that would work, but they're all dying. So there's that. All right, and Prim's up and she also is feeling a little bit hungry so she's also just gonna have herself a little bit of breakfast looks like she has opted for bacon and eggs and then when she is done with that she's gonna need to go ahead and obviously take care of bubbles because bubbles is going to need to be tended to as well you guys both can't be in the bathroom at the same yeah exactly exactly now you can never unsee that She's like, that's fine. I'll just go clean up the dishes and then I will take care of bubbles. That's probably a good call. So it does look like Rowan is just going to go ahead and get her hygiene up and give herself, uh, get, like brush her teeth and get herself ready because she does have work shortly. And um, Prim is just going to wake up. <laughs> She's going to wake up Bubbles. She's going to say, okay, Bubbles, it's time for us to go out for your morning your morning wee. I know you don't want to get up, pretty girl, but it is time to go outside. Come on, let me get you. Jeez, Jabo. I will go ahead and catch up with you guys when the two return from work and school. Okay, rising political star. 
Rowan has been deftly navigating her way through the political beltway when an unexpected wrench is thrown into her plans. The governor's running mate became entangled in a sordid affair and was forced to drop off the ticket. In their stead, the governor has reached out and offered Rowan the position, reaffirming the belief that she's a rising star in the political scene. Is Rowan ready for a position that demands this level of pu public exposure? Does she join the campaign, she will gain fame and a new friendship, or does she politely decline and her life will continue unchanged? <clears throat> Career. So I'm going to head and choose uh, join the campaign because I do think that would be the best option for Rowan at this time. Okay, so she is a notable newcomer and she did not lose her job. So that works out pretty good and from the sounds of it it looks like she also gained a friend in this and so all around that was positive for her career so I am pleased with that she did good all right that was a great decision okay I'm happy with it all right so it does look like she has um, gained a little bit as far as in her career for um, going to work today Hopefully she'll also go ahead and get a promotion. I don't know if she will because I don't think she has all of her votes that she needs secured, but we'll have to see. And we have mail. So we will need to pay our bills. So when she gets home, I'll just go ahead and have her pay the bills. And when uh, Prim gets home, I just want her to do something that's going to allow her to have some fun. Because obviously she... <clears throat> is desperately in need of fun. So when she comes home, maybe she can... A phoenix is here again. I don't even think I gave him a key. So how's he let himself in? Oh, he's playing with bubbles. All right, and Prim has made it home and she is super tense. She's like, oh, hey, Uncle Phoenix. Um, Mom's not here, and he's like, oh, honey, that's fine. I actually came to see you. I just wanted to see how you were doing, and I, I didn't really want you to be alone when you got home from school, so I just figured I'd swing over. And she's like, well, that's really sweet. I just, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually work on my school project. Um, but, I mean, you can totally hang out if you want. So she's just going to go ahead and get started on her school project. I think Phoenix would kind of be like, you are a lot like your mom in that. Every time she got schoolwork assigned, she just couldn't just immediately do it. I definitely can't relate to that. Blaze and I, we did our work, but it was not the first thing on our minds. And you know what? That's absolutely true that <laughs> he's not wrong. All right. So, oh, good. She did get a promotion. So it does say here that she got promoted to a... Promoted to representative. Rowan has been promoted to a representative. She will now make an additional 51 smolians per hour for a grand total of 170, I think, six smolians per hour. She also has received the following bonus of 3,049 smolians. Her next shift is Tuesday at 8 a.m. She now, we are now at level eight of our um, political career. So she is really, really moving along up the ladder. So yeah, she came home from work and immediately went right in and decided to take care of herself and just feed herself. <laughs> she didn't ask about Rowan or Prim and like, hey, how was your day? Are you hungry? No, no, didn't help with the project. Just typical Rowan. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that here. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of Prim's relationships with her family, as well as what you think as far as who should be the person that we should pursue in the terms of marrying as an elder. And I will see you guys in the next one. So thanks for watching and have a great one. Bye.